in the lecture about cropping, we have cropped an image and resized it for use on the internet. In this lecture, we will look at how to save an image for the web. And in the next lecture, we'll look at how to save for print. I have opened Save for Web. I go to File, Save for Web. At the right, we can see our image at 100%. And at the left, we see the three web formats. JPEG, PNG and GIF. So which one should we choose? JPEGs are for photographic images. JPEG uses lossy compression, which means you can damage your image if you compress too much. It's best to leave quality as close as possible to 100%. Let's zoom in a bit. This is what a JPEG looks like if you compress too much. So compression with JPEG is a trade-off between file size, shown at the bottom, and image quality. If you click on save, you can give the image a name and save it. JPEG 2000, or GP2, is a JPEG variant, but it's not supported by browsers. You will need an extra plugin to use it. The next format is PNG. PNG uses a lossless compression, which means compression without losing image quality. PNG is the best choice for saving logos and icons. PNG comes in two variations, PNG 8 and PNG 24. PNG 8 can show only 256 colors and is from the old days of slow internet connections. Because of the fast internet connections of today, there is not much use for it anymore. PNG24 shows normal color, and it supports high quality transparency, as we will see in a moment. The file size of this image is 225 kilobyte in the PNG format. If I choose JPEG and set quality to 79, we see our file size is much smaller, only about a third of that of the PNG format. When you use JPEG compression, you can click on Show Preview to compare with and without compression. So when do we use PNG? Where JPEG is the best choice for photographs, PNG24 is the best choice for logos and icons. Let's have a look. I will close the window and open the Udemy logo. As we can see, the Udemy logo has transparency which is the checkerboard pattern. For the internet, this means that where is transparency, we can look behind the logo, which is very powerful. JPEG can't do this, because JPEG doesn't support transparency. I open Save for Web. As we can see, JPEG quickly gives artifacts. At quality 85, we can clearly see the compression. And because JPEG doesn't support transparency, the transparent areas 
are filled in with white. The file size of the logo is now 12 kilobyte. If I go to PNG, we can see the advantages of PNG. The artifacts are gone, we have transparency, and we even have a smaller file size. GIF has the same limitations as PNG8. However, GIF has something unique. It can show animations. In a future course, I will show you how to make professional looking GIF animations in GIMP. In the next lecture, we will look at how to save for print.